In the communist economic system, there's no private property. So the government owns the land, the industry, and everything or almost everything else. In this way, the government has complete control over the economy and the goods are supposed to be owned by all the people, following the idea of class equality or the absence of social classes. The government takes the responsibility to distribute equally the country's wealth, give the jobs, and provide the social services that cover the needs of their people. To sum up, communism tries to eliminate the gap between the rich and poor, and to make everything be sure knocking out competence. Communism is an economic, social, and political system that consists in the collective ownership of goods and resources, making all people equal to the law and economy. Developed as a scientific socialism of the Marxist doctrine, communism banishes the social and economic classes, making all individuals value the same to every man. East Germany had a Soviet-style centrally planned economy, that is to say that the decisions of production, allocation of resources, and prices were established administratively which means that the state is the one that allocates resources and establishes the production targets. The highest authority produces an annual five-year plan in order to improve the economic field. The main goal of this type of system was to strengthen the economy as well as to improve the social welfare and also wanted to keep the ideas of a centrally planned and a social economy which certainly helped as the economy of 1949 suffered a huge improvement as the GDR grew so much that it ended up having one of the highest rates of growth. The main idea of this system is to take care and provide all citizens. As the economic system was a centrally planned one, there were people who were in charge of making decisions of production, such as the economic general staff of the council ministers and the state planning commission. These people advised the Council of Ministers on the measures that needed to be taken economically and coordinated economic plans. The, the individual ministers had in a specific area in which they were responsible for resource allocation, development, innovation, planning, among others. Below the ministers, their centrally directed trusts were in charge of managing the resources and last but not least, the producing units followed orders and produced what was asked. <laughs> this organization and involvement from the government helped to have more controlled economy and also as there were many sectors that were in charge of different areas, they were able to look into things in a more detailed way. The economy system allowed that the GDR became the most prosperous socialist country as it has the highest GDP per capita as well it encouraged women to join the workforce which caused an economic growth from about 3 to 5%. The priority of this system is maximizing the well-being of citizens. The Socialist Unity Party of Germany, said in German, was the governing Marxist and Leninist, the modification of Marxism by Lenin stressing that imperialism is the highest form of capitalism. Big political party of East Germany formed its form from its formation in 1946 until it was dissolved in 1989. From the beginning, the set was dominated by communists and by the late 1940s, it began to purge recalcitrant Democrat, social democrats from its ranks. The set controlled the National Front Coalition, a federation of political parties and mass organizations that preserved political pluralism. The set controlled the Council of Ministers and reduced the legislative functions of the people's chambers to that, to that of acclamation. All members of the set who were active in state organs were forced to carry out party resolutions. The Eastern world believes in no private land, no private food, and no private rights, no social gaps or discrimination. The government believes that the people own their own goods and themselves, have control on their life and receive everything they need with no discrimination. We take the responsibility to distribute evenly the goods, we make sure no one gets more than the others, we have money and no consumerism. What we have is true consumption and no bad happiness. The most important, communism tries to make everything be shared and to knock out competence. Following decades of communist traditions here in East Berlin, we implement and promote equality among all our people, and so with the repartition of our goods. 
Sharing is caring. We have many experts in charge of controlling the proper distribution and usage of our good in benefit for the people. With an equal repartition of goods and resources, we can all become equal and achieve the desired and effective economic system we've been looking for. We do not only encourage the equal repartition of goods, but the equal participation of our people into economic decisions, allowing full transparency and trust between the people. Furthermore, the 1949 Constitution had the following rights, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, religious freedom, and the right to emigrate.